Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's Create Your Dream Business Now Academy, a -a one-of-a-kind live event where Jim will personally teach you how to market and grow a more profitable business faster, even in a crappy economy. During this event, Jim will reveal how to create a million-dollar platform on a shoestring budget. You'll learn how to generate a ton of content with ease, how to attract a steady stream of new customers, and you'll also network with other successful marketers and entrepreneurs. This not-to-be-missed event is September 4th through the 6th in beautiful Philadelphia and will quite literally transform your business. Do not miss it. Get all the details and register today at www.dreambizacademy.com. Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the news editor, Guru, your dream business coach, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. Once again, I'm on my floating office. This is where I'll be most of the summer. But, you know, one of the questions I often get is, Jim, you talk about your virtual assistants. I have nine um, team members that help me run my various businesses. And they said, um, how do you find them? How do you let go? And can you teach us more about, you know, using a team so you don't have to work as hard or so you can more importantly focus on, you know, as you say, the high revenue generating activity. So I'll talk a little bit about that today. You know, it's, it is an acquired skill for most entrepreneurs because we're, we all tend to be, you know, A-type personalities. We're, we're the drivers, we're the movers, we're the thinkers. Nobody can do it as quick or as fast or as inexpensively as I could. Why would I pay somebody else to do this when I can just whip it out real fast? Or why would I pay somebody to write this? Or, you know, whatever it is, we always tend to ask those questions. And, and you know, quite honestly, about five or six years ago, that was me too. And um, when I got my first virtual assistant and they started doing some website work for me, started updating things, started sending out my weekly easing, started doing a bunch of things, all of a sudden I found myself with a little more time to get down or to get done some of the important things that I wanted to do in my business. So I got another one. And next thing you know, I got an assistant that would schedule my calls for me, the coaching calls, the interviews. Next thing I know, I started hiring writers to help me produce all the content and it just kept going from there. Each step of the way, I will let you know, it was kind of a, I felt it was a little bit of a leap of faith because you sometimes feel like you're putting the cart before the horse. But inevitably, if you buy into the fact that when you focus on high revenue generating activities, if you can get somebody to do anything, admin work, database work, whatever it is, for, you know, I don't know, five, ten dollars an hour, twenty, thirty, forty dollars an hour, whatever it is, your time as the entrepreneur is worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars an hour. So if you're actually doing some of those tasks that you could hire out for, those are preventing you from earning that kind of money. So you have to get over that. It's a little bit of the cart before the horse mentality because, yes, it is. But once you put the cart before the horse, you put your ideas, your energy, your marketing, all the things, speaking, whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing as the owner and chief marketer of your business, When you start getting those done, you start seeing growth. You start seeing revenue spikes, and that pays for your assistance, so it keeps going. So in in all honesty, it is a little bit of the, the cart before the horse, but you have to make that leap. Listen, starting a business in the first place was a leap of faith, was it not? And so when you get to a point, even if you feel you're struggling right now, but you, you can't get everything done, I just can't get my book done, I can't do this, that, the other thing, it's because you need help. Even if you feel you can't afford it, you have to invest and create the culture and the type of business that you want to have. And, um, you know, it, it almost, I'll say, it almost doesn't get easier. It gets a little easier, but I still have to think twice before bringing somebody on, which is a good strategy. But in, uh, invariably, if, if I think I need help, I do need help. It's like you're thirsty. By the time you're thirsty, you should have been drinking already, if you know that one. So anyway, um, I'm going to be teaching a lot more of how to outsource, how to build a team, how to work with a team at my upcoming Dream Business Academy, which is September 4th, 5th, and 6th right here in Philadelphia, about a mile up the road. And a mile, and a mile. It's about an hour up the road from where I am here in my floating office. But um, we're going to be talking a lot more about that. I'm going to bring several of my team to the conference so you can meet them. One of the things, one of the options is, depending on, on how you register, 
I'm going to sponsor a lunch, which sponsor is a nice way of saying, I'm going to buy you lunch, and I'm going to interview my team and then let you ask any questions you want of a lot of my team members. So that's going to be pretty cool. Check that out. Learn all about Dream Business Academy at www.dreambizacademy.com, dreambizacademy.com. Hope to see you there. We are more than halfway sold out. we got about 60 days to go. So we're in a good position. I know we're going to sell out, so you want to get registered ASAP. Be sure to check out Stick Like Glue Radio. It's the only podcast dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers so they stay longer, spend more, and refer more. And those are all great things in your business. Before the days out, look for ways you can put a smile on somebody's face. One random act of kindness at a time by everybody, including you. And um, that's just going to make the world a nicer place, and we sorely need it right now. So let's be nicer to each other. Um, if you've got some value out of this week's lesson, I think there's some pretty good value here. I would appreciate it very much if you click the like and or share button, put it on your news feed, share it, post it anywhere you want, and uh, maybe make a comment. I always love reading your comments, um, hearing what you're thinking of these videos. We are well into our fifth year. Tens of thousands of views. Entrepreneurs, small business owners watch these videos, which is kind of cool. And um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Until next week, another great episode of Newsletter Guru TV. My name is Jim Palmer. I'm the host. I'm the newsletter guru, and I'm your dream business coach, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster, and you take good care. Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice, and a little fun along the way.